You've gone to the tournament the past few years knowing you had to win to extend the season. How comforting is it or relieved to know that no matter what happens this week, you got games to play next week? Um, uh, well, we're not going into that mindset. Uh, you know, we're still going into the mindset that we have to win and make it to the championship game because that's, uh, right now our focus is Nashville, not uh, the NCAA tournament. Um, so we're going into Nashville, taking it one game at a time. But just building off that a little bit, do you guys does it feel different though? Because you got a you know double buy into this thing. You're playing on Friday as opposed to the first round of the tournament. Does it give you a little bit more confidence and edge to you going in? Because like, hey, we're in really good position to make a strong run in this. Yeah, thing. yeah, definitely. Um, whereas uh, like the last the previous years, we was we was the ones that's coming in and having to play you know multiple games. And by the time we get to the third game, you know we're worn out, we're tired. Whereas now, by the time the third game, we're the ones that still um, rested and, and healthy, so um, that gave us that advantage. But um, we, like I said, we're going into the same mindset, trying to make it to the championship game and win it. That's that's the goal. Questions? Guys, the last couple of years you have won games at the SEC tournament. How much does an ed how much of an edge do you think that might give you, knowing that you know what it takes to win games in, a, in an environment like that? Um, I would say, you know, like just since that we go into a mindset to play really well in, the, in Nashville, you know, obviously our goal is the championship game. So, you know, the advantage we have right now is that we are more well rested. You know, we didn't need to leave like yesterday and play on Wednesday and Thursday and then Friday. So I think that gives us a step. Guys, what was the biggest uh, adjustment that worked for you not having Mike against Arkansas? What was the thing that really enabled you guys to get out ahead and, and, and keep that big lead? Um, I think it was just a team effort. Um, you know, uh, being able to uh, to limit our turnovers, um, don't turn the ball over as much, and, and not get caught up in their game with uh, uh, with careless shots, rush shots. Um, you know, I go with them pressing. We knew that we was going to um, – have a lot of shots at the rim, so um, not to settle for jump shots and to get the ball to the rim. That was the goal, and uh, on the rebounding standpoint, um, Mike, Mike is big with us rebounding, and so we all just took it upon ourselves to step up and uh, you know grab grab a few rebounds more. Sam, congratulations on making that first team all defensive squad. How much of a Emphasis was that for you this year? Maybe not to get on the squad, but just kind of improving your defense from beginning to end of the season. Uh, I mean, it's always been big on me because uh, I know uh, most times I'm guarding one of the best players on the team. Uh, so um, I know if, if whoever I'm guarding is going to be one of the leading scorers, you know, if I can limit them, uh, try to not to let them reach their uh, average, then, you know, I think I did my job. And so. That's my mindset going to every game, to not let whoever I'm going reach their average and um, because that, that takes away from their team. So um, that's always been my mindset. And uh, I, work, I worked hard, uh, we worked hard as a team um, all year uh, for, for, for the success we've had this year. I know you guys don't know quite who you're playing on Friday. It's either Mississippi State or Georgia, but considering the last time you guys have met both of those programs, you lost. Does it add a little bit more fuel to this? And what needs to go right the next time you face one of those two opponents to make sure you come out on the right side of the result? Um, <clears throat> I mean, uh, like you said, uh, last time we played both of them, we lost. So uh, it does give us fuel, you know. Um, um, when we played at Mississippi State last time, they shot, they shot the ball really well. And um, even when Georgia played us here, there, here and there, uh, they shot the ball really well. So uh, I would say uh, defensively, we we would have to um, get on it defensively. And uh, turnovers at Mississippi State, we had a lot of turnovers, and uh, we shot the ball really bad. So I think if we can, uh, and we got out rebounded in both games. So if we could uh, control the boards and uh, make a few shots, I think, and uh, I think they'll put us in a good situation after the game. Guys, you've been through this, having to play three games at the tournament each of the past two years. Just how draining is it to have to play maybe three games back to back to back? I mean, it's not easy. You know, you play the good teams, and you know, obviously, uh, at your third game, you know, 
the other team is more rested than you and you know it's hard to get get into your like stretch you know and uh make maybe shots you know and get defensive stuff but uh, at the end of the day you know we'll do whatever we need to do now we're kind of ahead of step because we are rested and everyone is really excited to play